Hey guys, it's Magaz here and this is a little gear review. Today we're going to be taking a look at this TMC Modular Assault Pack. I think it's called the Modular Assault Pack. Might be the Mini Assault Pack. Either way, whatever it's called, I'm not going to cut any corners here. This is basically a clone of the GMR gear minimap. It's exactly what it is. It's a minimap for 30 quid. Except it doesn't have the love and attention to detail the... Uh, Papa Ronnie would have given his legit GMR minimap. So basically, if you're into the GMR sort of scene and you really like the aesthetics of the minimap and you want to run one, but maybe you didn't get, a, get the chance to get one when the next batch went live or you just can't afford that $300 price tag, this is a good viable option. Uh, like myself, I really like the minimap and at some point in the future I would love to pick up a Desert Tiger Strap minimap, but right now I just can't warrant that. Also, I don't think there's one available right now, so there's that. A good option is the TMC knockoff minimap. So externally it looks pretty much just like a minimap. It's a very small form factor bag that attaches to a plate carrier via molly on the back or you can actually attach straps to here and here to make it a standalone pack but yeah it's it's very nice it's made of cordura fabric i'm not sure the uh whether it's 1000d or 500d or whatever d or double d r2 double d2 whatever it is it's it's pretty it seems pretty heavy duty there's a very kind of silky smooth feel to the fabric it's very nice it's got basically all the features of the minimap. You've got a spot up here where on the actual legit GMR minimap, you have a like an IFAC first aid kit with a red pulley that you pull it out and there's a little, little first aid kit. Uh, you don't get anything in there, but the compartment is there if you want to do something like that. Large sort of area here for patches, which is pretty useful. Just underneath that here is another compartment which has Velcro in there. I, I believe GMR gear do sell Kydex adapters to put in here so you can hold like two AR magazines or whatever. And uh, nothing comes in this one, but you can probably fit one of those adapters in here or come up with some other use for it yourself. On the rear is a small compartment which opens with very heavy duty zips and they pull either side. Inside is basically just a tiny little compartment. There's no magic witchcraft or science in there. It is legit just a tiny little compartment. Useful throwing spare batteries, maybe a smoke, maybe a flash, whatever. Something in there just so your, your buddies can get it. Up top is the main shot. Oh, we'll just open these compression straps because they kind of get in the way when you're opening it. There are two compression straps on here. These are removable from the back using these little weird buckles that I haven't quite figured out yet. So we'll leave those on there for now. But the main compartment opens up like this from the top with the same high quality zips. Inside you'll see our two routing options for either comms antennas or hydration. Inside at the bottom is a small compartment with a Velcro panel on it. Again, I believe GMR do Velcro Kydex adapters so you can attach maybe bangers or magazines or whatever to this, this place here. And then there's space in there which is ideal for a small uh, hydration pack, which is pretty, pretty cool. To get to the bottom, rather than having to fumble about like this, you can actually give yourself a reach around and open up these side zip compartments here. There's one on either side, which allows easy access to both left and right of the interior pocket. So that's basically it. Inside, it's, again, Cordura fabric. There's that Velcro panel. There's no other crazy witchcraft and compartments in here. All there is is the hydration pouch at the back and then that Velcro wall to attach stuff to. So it's, it's a pretty, for the size of the bag, it is a pretty big compartment. I fit a BLE PM2 from ICS in its box in there, along with a Jeftron Leviathan in its box in there. A spare magazine for the PM2 and some random other shash that I was bringing down to the studio and it all fit in there really nicely. So you can definitely fit a good amount of magazines and gas or a small air tank if you're a Scuba Steve fanatic. 
It's a, it's a pretty alley looking little piece of kit and does the job. It doesn't get in the way, it doesn't snag. Externally, you have a lot of molly real estate on the side here. We can attach other pouches or put pens in or Mark 5s, etc. Like I said before, you've got these compression straps. These have these Velcro sort of, I want to say cable tidies, but it's not cable tidies. They're to keep your strap not dangling, which is good. On the back, you have this molly panel just here. And basically, the strap goes through. There's no button on the bottom for it to actually click closed. Uh, basically, when you put this through, all the way through and weave it through, there's a little bit that sticks out. So if it does pull and come out, it's not going to actually pull out, which is pretty good. That's basically it. It's a very simple design, uh, trial and tested in the field by GMR and then copied in China by TMC, which is pretty sketchy to be honest, but I mean, the price point, it's, it's gotta be on there, 30 quid for a bag rather than 300 quid. I'd love to support the GMR bag, pick one up, but it's just, I'm not in a place at the minute to spend 300 wing wangs on a bag. The, the day I am and the day that that Tiger Strike one is available, I will pick that bad boy right up and I'll apologize profusely to Paparoni and uh, hope he forgives me. But for now, uh, the TMC Minimap is a good alternative if you want something small, lightweight to attach the back of your plate carrier and carry a few extra magazines, some water, some flashes or a uh, rubber cock. It uh, scores highly on the uh, pretty balls deep tally for me and I definitely recommend it. Obviously that is subject to change if I run it at 15 games and it dissolves and falls apart. I will update you guys. But for now, uh, first impressions after only running this at a couple of games, it is really pretty good. There we go. If you enjoyed this little review, go ahead, hit that subscribe button to see when other reviews go live. And as always, I'm a gas. Remember kids, the air may be soft, but our balls are hard. Also, you can ask any questions about the bike in the comments down there.